Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the redirect override feature in ClickFunnels. So let's get straight into it. So if you have a funnel built and you have like a squeeze page and then you have a sales page, then you have an order form page, you know, your, your typical front end type of funnel. And you know, if somebody opts in on your squeeze page, they'll automatically come down to your sales page, right? That's normal funnel flow. It goes from one page to the next page, to the next page, etc. Now the redirect override makes makes it you able to point people to other pages in your funnel or other pages just in general. So maybe you want somebody to be able to opt into your squeeze page and go directly to order form. So you're, you're done with this sales page and you wanna take people straight from squeeze page to order form. So that could be what you're trying to accomplish. So let's just pop up the squeeze page real quick and I haven't done anything to it. We're just gonna go with the default. So this will be test and test at testing.com. And we'll just do, yes, I want my free copy. And we see that it brings me to my sales page of my funnel, right? So there's my sales page. So we, we don't want that, okay? Uh, we wanna go to the order form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to my order form, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the link to my order form. So copy that. And I'll come back to my squeeze page real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit my squeeze page. And I wanna come up here to settings, and I wanna go to general now and we see on submit go to. So we wanna go ahead and paste in our order form page link there and come back out of here and we wanna save it now and name it squeeze page and save. And we'll come back out of here and we're gonna go ahead and pop it up and see if it takes us to our order form page instead of our squeeze page. So pop this up real quick and Fill out your opt-in form, test and test at testing.com. And yes, I want my free copy. And hopefully it takes us to our order form page and we see the order form page is loading. We have our order form on here and it looks like everything is working well. So, except that it's loading very slowly for some reason. But besides it loading very slowly, you see that we skipped over our sales page and we went directly to the order form. So you can use that concept. And you know, if you wanted to send people to Google or something like that, I don't know why you send somebody to Google, but if whatever you type in here, and after somebody hits the submit button, so they hit submit, uh, it'll go to whatever links in here. And if there's no link in this field right here, it'll go to the next page of your funnel. So that's that's how that works, the redirect override or on submit go to. You can also use the same concept on the order form page. So let me pop this open real quick, editing the order form page. And if we come to settings and general here, we see that we have the on submit go to option on this page as well. So if you want somebody to go to a different page after they go through the order form process, well then you can throw the link in there and they'll go to that page instead of the next page in your funnel. So that's how you can kind of steer people in different directions after they either opt in or buy something is by going to the settings, general, and updating the on submit go to field with the link you want to bring people to. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you use the redirect override feature or function inside of ClickFunnels. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate your source of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.